Welcome back! That's how that animation is supposed to go, instead of, you know, hanging the game. He's just supposed to open the door and leave, which makes sense, I guess. So, he's heading off to his train. And I guess that's our only lead to find Hans right now, so... I suppose we should f meet him there. I've never really had that much trouble with glitches in this game. I don't think I've ever seen the one that just happened in the previous video. Unlike um, uh, Sokal's first game, Amazon, which I actually never finished because there was one place where the game just kept crashing on me and I could not get past it. Never, never tried it again though, so... And I think back then I was playing the original CD version. I don't know, is Amazon on GOG? I'm actually not sure. Um, the train station is this way, I think. Amazon is more uh, mist like, it's first person puzzle game. But since I never finished playing it, it's unlikely that I'll ever let's play it. Unless I decide to get in the mood and play it again and finish it. Maybe then I will. Who knows? For now, this game is pretty long, so... And we have a sequel to worry about, so... I'll have plenty of so-called weirdness to show you for the time being. And there's other games of his that I like, like Sinking Island. So maybe I'll play those at some point. I have not decided. I believe Oscar's actually in the train, and I'm right. Hey there, Oscar. My functions do not permit me familiarity, Kate Walker. Even if you are my first and only passenger. Me? Your passenger? Yes, you, Kate Walker. Is it not for that reason you completed my production process? If you say so. <laughs> I like how she just goes with it. I mean, I guess it makes sense because it is the only way to find Hans at this point. The game never really states that that's why Kate Walker is going along with this. Oscar, you know you could just call me Kate. It would be so much nicer. Especially as we're going on such a long journey together. I am sorry, Kate Walker, but I have already logged your name. I cannot modify this data, and my functions do not permit me familiarity, Kate Walker. Well, I hope your functions permit you to learn the difference between being familiar and quite simply nice. Somehow I doubt it. Also, did he log her name in read-only memory? Or however that works, with an entirely mechanical robot? I... I have decided to come along for the ride, Oscar. Ready when you are. Your ticket, please? My ticket? What are you talking about? The rules clearly state, Kate Walker, every passenger of this train must possess a ticket. Okay. And where do I get hold of a ticket? Only the ticket vendor may issue tickets. You are in luck. The ticket office must be open now. You should go there immediately. Oh. Okay. Why do we need a ticket? There literally is no reason for us to need a ticket here. This train was designed, presumably, to transport only Anna Vorlberg. And why would she need a ticket? Do we need money to get a ticket? I don't know if we have any. Presumably we do. It's not in our inventory anyway. I guess the ticket office is open now? Well, we know where it is. Nobody was there before. It looks like someone's there now. Someone who looks... Awfully familiar. 
But it's you? What can I do for you, madam? But Oscar, it's me, Kate Walker. Correct. Your name is indeed Kate Walker. Oscar, you know you could j I am so well, I hope All right, I guess that just triggers the normal dialogue. Um I suppose we should just buy a ticket or whatever it is. This just makes no sense. So we have to buy a ticket from Oscar to show to Oscar to prove that we can go on this train. Sure. What can I do for you, Kate Walker? A train ticket, please. Why? Do you sell anything else? The only function of this ticket office is to issue tickets. You are requested to accelerate operations. The office closes in exactly three minutes. What can I do for you? A ticket, please. One ticket? Yes. One ticket. What is your final destination? Uh, I don't know. It's you who told me I had to get a ticket. A ticket to travel, then. That's a big ticket. It looked a lot bigger <laughs> when he handed it to us. Train ticket for the mechanical railway, departing from Valadilen. Going somewhere. It has already been punched, which is kind of weird. This ticket is valid for one person and should be presented to any official of the mechanical railway when so required. Okay. I guess besides making this train and a fully artificially intelligent mechanical driver, they also designed special tickets for this train. Was this all um, in Hans's instructions? If so, I'm going to say Hans is a little bit eccentric. Oscar certainly is. Um, oh, we also got something else. Maybe that was the big paper. Matter of Voltaire's practice, Valadilen Notary, document AZ654. Authorization for access to all or part of the movable and immovable estate constituting part of an inheritance. The Vorlberg her Heritage. Description of the object, one mechanical propulsion locomotive, including coaches, accessories, and driver. The present document, stamped by the recognizing permitting authority, Entitles the holder of this document access to the aforementioned property. Um, okay. So we need permission from the notary to gain access to the train. Why? There you are. Do not lose it. This office is not entitled to produce duplicates. This advice also applies to the accompanying documentation. What's that? The authorization for the release of the train. The ticket officer may ask you for it at any time. But, I mean, you are the... Attention! The exact moment has arrived to close this office. Uh... Okay? I'm assuming he went back into the train. Yep, he's here again. It's me again, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. Why aren't we setting off, Oscar? I must abide by regulations. Your ticket, please, Kate Walker. Fine, we'll show you our ticket. You know, you know, we just bought it from you. I guess we'll talk about everything else first. Oscar, if you were in my shoes right now, what would you do? My reasoning mechanism does not permit me to manage problems outside the mandate of my own functioning. If I were in your shoes, Kate, I would buy different shoes because they probably don't fit me. I can't wait to meet Hans Varlberg. What about you? I would find the experience inordinately gratifying. And I won't forget to congratulate him on the success of his incredible automaton. Why, thank you, Kate Walker. His incredibly annoying automaton. At times. This is one of those times. This train is amazing. I'm going to travel like a princess. I am happy that you like it, Kate Walker. 
This train has been designed to optimize passenger comfort. I have definitely been in worse trains, that's for sure. I don't think I've ever been in a train that's this nice. In terms of the interior, anyway. Are you the only automaton on the train, Oscar? I have been designed to attend to all tasks relating to the smooth functioning of the train and the comfort of its passengers. Okay, okay, Oscar. I don't doubt your talents for a second. So he's the driver. The engineer, I guess. And um, the conductor, he also sells tickets. Are you also going to be running the uh, dining car? I don't think there is one. Fortunately, Kate never eats in this game, so that's not a problem. Poor Madame Vorlberg. I'm sure she would have loved to come along. This train was designed for only one passenger, Kate Walker. So... It's like I've taken her seat. It's not like that. It is exactly that. Don't think for one moment that I'm bored of you, Oscar. But I have to go. I also have much to attend to, Kate Walker. All right. Um, I guess we need to show him the ticket. There you are, Oscar. Does this mean we can leave now? I cannot accept this ticket for the moment, Kate Walker. Keep it. Why don't you want to take my ticket? I must abide by regulations, Kate Walker. Not all departure conditions have been fulfilled. I must confirm your departure release. You can be a real stickler for the rules, Oscar, my old fellow. And while it's kind of funny at this point, <laughs> I mean, it is funny. It is um, obstinate following of the rules. It is, however, also kind of uh, annoying. And if this was the only time in the game this happened, it wouldn't be so bad. But it is kind of why I said that Oscar is a microcosm of everything that's wrong with this game. is because we have everything we need to leave. And he just won't let us. The only reason we can't progress is because a character in this game is just being kind of unreasonable. And um, that happens a lot. And it especially happens a lot with Oscar. Um, he needs to release, which, I mean, it hasn't been stamped, but surely that's not a problem. Here. This is the authorization for the release of the train. It has not been signed, Kate Walker. Oscar, you're going too far. You just gave me this. Does the train belong to you, Kate Walker? No. So there. This train cannot leave Aladdin without the agreement of its owner. I don't think Madame Varlberg is in a position to sign anything right now. In that case, the stamp of her legal representative is perfectly sufficient. Please hurry up, Kate Walker. This train will soon depart, and I must ensure it is not delayed. What, you're just going to leave without me? Not even mentioning the fact that you can't, but... We'll get to that. Alright, we have to go and get this release form signed or stamped or whatever. Which, uh, we need from the notary. Which means we have to go back to his office. Hopefully he's done resting. And fortunately the uh, notary's office is uh, not that far. By this game standards anyway. I mean, I do appreciate all the really beautiful backgrounds. Lovingly pre-rendered. This game is actually in... Uh, 800 by 600 resolution. Which is 
kind of an annoying resolution to work with video wise because it's not a resolution that YouTube supports and none of the resolutions that YouTube supports are a exact multiple of 800 by 600 which means I'm gonna have to mangle the pixels in some way oh no I forgot the notary will be resting okay so I guess he can't stamp the form. We did see a stamp thing here. So, maybe we can just do it ourselves. Which again kind of contributes to the whole why are we doing this? Just because Oscar wants us to. I mean, if the game is so concerned about us following the rules, then we should get proper permission. You, I mean, you can argue. This is not our train. We need permission from the notary to use it. But then we actually don't. We instead just fake the permission. So that's perfectly okay, I guess. That is not doing anything. And although the game does not state it, uh, what's missing is ink. You can probably guess if you've found the ink bottle. Approve. All right. I hope that is uh, good enough. Kind of doesn't really look like an official stamp. It doesn't even say who it's from. But I guess it'll do. So back to the train we go. And like I was saying, the 800 by 600 is an annoying resolution if you care about a whole pixel scaling, which I do. I don't really like applying any kind of uh, filtering to old games. I'd rather have them pixelated than well, mutilated, really. <laughs> so I've been uploading my 320 by 240 games, like, uh, or 320 by 200 with aspect ratio correction, I guess, in 720p, which is exactly three times 240, and then I upload it um, Sanitarium in 1440p, which is exactly three times uh, 480, because that game is in 640 by 480. But with this game, I can, like, double the resolution, which gives me 1200p, which is right in the middle of 1080p, and uh, 1440p. So either I can, like, smooth scale it up to 1440p, or just upload it like that, and let YouTube downscale it to 1080p. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do there yet. Well, obviously, by the time I'm uploading this, I will have, because uh, I need to have done it. All right, we have your stamped release permit, Oscar. I hope you're happy. Here, this is your stupid train release ratification, Oscar. Thank you, Kate Walker. That is perfect. All right, now do you want the ticket? There you are, Oscar. Does this mean we can leave now? I cannot accept this ticket for the moment, Kate Walker. Keep it. I don't understand why we can't leave. I'd hate to think it's me that's delaying the train like this. I do not wish to appear impolite, Kate Walker, but I am afraid that not all departure conditions have been fulfilled. If that's a joke, Oscar, it's not very funny. I really need to find Hans Vorlberg as quickly as possible. I have strict instructions to obey. There are three spaces in the luggage compartment that are designed to accommodate two very important objects. The train can only depart when they are in place. Please excuse me now. 
I must return to my departure preparations. Oh, I wouldn't want to break any rules. Okay, so we need some stuff. It's Can me you... again, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. Can we ask him what stuff? Why aren't we setting off, Oscar? I must abide by regulations. Your ticket, please, Kate Walker. Eh, the answer seems to be Don't no. Don't think for one moment that I'm bored of you, Oscar. But I have to go. I also have much to attend to, Kate Walker. Okay, it doesn't actually tell you what we need. Um, but it is pretty obvious that it needs to go here. And actually, the um, letter that we found earlier uh, on uh, Anna's desk tells us at least one of those things. It, it said that he wanted to take the uh, mammoth doll with him. So that's one of the things we need. And it goes here, which you can tell by the cursor because it's the only place where it will let you put it. And you can take it back in case you need it later. The second thing you need actually is the Hans on a mechanical toy, which you can only get from the um, player if you've actually played the uh, the voice cylinder. It pops up, but before that you can't take it, I think. And that goes on here. Which is itself a uh, player as well. And if I were to watch one of those cylinders again? Um, okay. That's a weird sentence. But yeah, she's right, you can just watch the... the cylinders again. I have no reason to do that right now though, I've seen this one. You can actually also store the cylinders in the cabinet. They each have their own place. It will not let you put them anywhere else. Um, I don't remember if Oscar complains about leaving if those aren't in place. I'm not sure he cares. He definitely does care about these two things. Another thing we can notice if we go back here is that um, Somehow our luggage has made it over here. Did Oscar send a message to the hotel? I don't know. No point weighing myself down. I'm honestly astounded that the game doesn't just make us get our luggage. It's me again, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. Um, actually, I actually, we just need to give him the ticket. There you are, Oscar. Does this mean we can leave now? I cannot accept this ticket for the moment, Kate Walker. Keep it. I don't understand why you're still refusing to take this ticket. Everything is in order, and an engineer prides himself on punctuality. Yes, Oscar, I remember. But what now? But what's up, Oscar? Why haven't you returned to your engine room? If I may be so bold as to express a personal opinion on this matter, Kate Walker? <sighs> I'm all ears, Oscar. I fear we have omitted to wind up the locomotive springs. Is that all? Then let's do it, for Christ's sake. I'm afraid I have no notion of how to implement this function, Kate Walker. It would seem that the makeshift completion of my production process is responsible for a lack of instruction on this matter. Okay, right. I'll see to that myself then. I mean, a wind-up train can't be that complicated. You, wait there. I won't be long. Thank you, Kate Walker. Okay, this train is not just mechanical. It's wind-up. 
whereas Oscar himself is powered by... I have no idea. But you never need to wind him up, thank God. Well, um, I said earlier there's a... We can actually go further down here, and I didn't do it when we were in the train station, and the reason was that I didn't want to wind the train with no idea why. It is a very cool looking train. I'll give him that much. Uh, we can't go any further, so it must be here. I am assuming it's this. That did nothing. Okay, that was quick. Um, I don't think the game wants me to leave while this is still up. I'm sure that amount of winding will get us like a good two meters for a train that of that size and weight. Anyway, I'm sure this has lots of advantages over electric trains. What's weird is that this equipment looks really old. So either this is not the first wind-up train they built, or... Um, that was built in anticipation of Hans one day building this train. Kate, it's me again. Dan, I was gonna call you. Yeah, yeah. Are you mad at me? I've just called Marson and Lormont. They told me you weren't expected to return this week. Oh, yeah. So when are you coming home? I don't know. There's nothing I can do about it. The situation is kind of tricky, you know. At the beginning of next week, I hope. Yeah, whenever. Dan, please. Just hang in there, okay? The stakes are higher than I thought. And you know how much I love this job. I suppose it's neither here nor anywhere to you that the Goldbergs are going to... It is. I mean, it isn't. I mean, Dan, this really isn't the moment. You know I'm thinking about you. I love you, sweetheart, and I'll give you a call when I have some news. Promise. I've got to go now. I've got kind of a, a train to catch. A train? Where are you off to now? This is crazy, Kate. To tell you the truth, I've no idea. Love you, honey. You know that. Kate! Well, he certainly is supportive of her job. It's being kind of unreasonable. And again, it only seems like he cares that she comes home so she can be an accessory to him having dinner with the Goldbergs, whoever they are. Okay, for the love of God, can we please have everything now? Right, everything is in order then. The train is finally ready to leave. I am most terribly embarrassed. Such ignorance on my part is inadmissible. I hope you still have confidence in my abilities, Kate Walker. Please, return to your seat and we can leave. Finally. Alright, we're going on an adventure.
Okay. Looks like we're here. Wherever here may be. I guess we'll figure that out in the next video.